salutations guys, this is Archon again, for another episode of Star Sector. So for this episode, I decided to go ahead and add another ship to our little flotilla. Uh, this time it's a light cruiser that we're going to go ahead and actually, uh, we'll pilot this one. And it has some, a little bit of ballistics on it actually, which is a bit of a departure from our energy only uh, other cruiser, you know. So, alright, so... Let's go ahead and find some trouble. We've got to get out of this Corvus system first. There's really not much of anything here to fight. So, I'll uh, BRBs once we uh, find something we can actually fight. <laughs> and we're back, guys. Okay, so <laughs> here we have our little fleet. We're nearby an Imperium uh, fleet. Actually, we're headed towards Magic, um, which is kind of a Tritachion area, which is our enemies. So we were thinking of mixing it up with some Tritachion, but on the way, we found... Uh, Cabal uh, fleet engaging with Imperium, and the Imperium won. But now we're gonna see if we can <laughs> kind of mop up the the victors in this case. All right. So we didn't uh, loop in that nearby Hegemony fleet for assistance, but we should have this pretty easily. You notice they just now fought a battle and uh, they've taken some significant damage. So it should be easy. Now they do have a um, escort cruiser there. It's pretty pretty good sized ship. So we'll see what happens. All right. Not even sure we need all our ships, but let's just do it. Okay. So, one of the things you'll notice about this ship is, like I mentioned earlier, it has more ballistics, and also it has a built-in um, thermal pulse cannon, which you can see. Um, each of these weapon groups has a different uh, trajectory that they're aiming towards. That they have available field of fire, like for instance. Um, there's a huge field of fire here for this auto cannon in the back there. And for the repeaters, there's quite a large, quite a large field of fire. So, so it was set to auto fire, and we're going to control the um, thermal pulse cannon. All right, so we only see the little fighters here. Let's go ahead and send our guys to capture these. They can get little bonuses. You can get extra command points, which send people to do things with those. Start off with right now we have eight. Um, also adds ship maneuverability and top speed, so it's pretty useful. So let's do that. So we've set a capture to that nav buoy, and now our frigate is being dispatched to go try to capture it. That's kind of fun. You can see it maneuvering away. All right, that's a phase frigate up there. And, um, those are our repeaters. That's pretty sweet. Uh, but a phase frigate basically it experiences time differently once it goes into phase space and it kind of speeds up. It's very hard to hit. In fact, it's impossible to hit while it's in phase. So, um, but while it's in phase, it continually produces flux. As though it was being hit or something, you know, on its shields. It doesn't have shields. So, it has a phase capacity instead of shields. So it's kind of like a submarine mechanic. It's pretty sweet, actually. Very well thought out. Okay, so what happened is it came out a phase right in the middle of the stream. You notice this; these earlier blasts didn't even hit it because it was in phase, but then it came out at a very bad time. Okay. Wow, we're under attack, under attack. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, we took some damage in the engines, and some of our engines are flaring up. Ooh, take them more. Distracted. So you notice some of our engines are temporarily knocked out, which is okay. It's fine. This particular ship has a rather narrow uh, cross-section of shielding, so you have to be a little careful. Alright, well, let's go in and attempt to engage our primary weapon against this guy. There you go, that red stuff. Boom. Oh, and we're getting so overloaded. Okay, retreat. <laughs> retreat! <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. Got to angle our shields, try to take the incoming fire. That is a long-range weapon. Okay, so there we go. We're venting. We're gonna jump back in. Try to maneuver these while well, we don't have shields. All right, shields up. I'm gonna take this guy out. Do it. Oh, right. The special ability of this one is it, it launches a couple of drones. Support drones. You can see them uh, kind of behind me right here. Those can just be helpful. They engage fighters. They stay nearby though, so Oops, I may be missing, missing, missing. And uh, about to overload. This guy's about to die. I think our cruiser's gonna. 
There we go. Sweet. Okay. Another thing that our light cruiser has going for it is it also has a decent complement of um, light missiles. So let's just hurry the retreat. Pick through the salvage. Hmm. Yeah, kind of low on gas actually. Now that we brought in the extra cruiser, it has a lot more cargo space, so we can hold a little more than we usually have. Okay, Tesla gun. Let's see. No, mm, that's pretty good. Nah. Okay. So we got more space than usual. Sweet. All right, so let's just make our way towards magic. Like we're going. Oop, we got a storm. No, 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 no. Okay, notice we have a huge amount of supplies being used while we're in there. And now, oh no, actually. Part of that's being because we're repairing. <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, but luckily, during the, at the end of that battle, we um, gathered a lot of supplies as loot. Okay, trying to get around these storms. So many storms. All right, sweet. So now we're back down to a very reasonable supply a drainage. Which is kind of like the normative thing. Now that we're repaired and we got our, our combat readiness back up to maximum. So yeah, doing good. Alright. Oh, wow. Okay, guys. This is a substantial fleet. We might have a serious problem on our hands, guys. Alright. Okay. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's do it. This is the tri tachyon we were looking for. Okay. It's a heavy elite cruiser. We're going to have to engage that take it out. Now this is a, a phase destroyer, which is no slouch. And this is a Medusa just like ours. So, oh man. This is going to be intense. Okay. Wow. Wow. The nice thing is we have very high level um, captains for each of our ships, which is nice. Well, mostly because it gives bonuses. So it's a little... It helps make up the difference a bit. Okay. It's so basically the skill trees. I haven't even shown you guys the skill trees and whatnot, but I have, as a main character, I have skill trees, and um, the individual captains also have skills that I assign as they level up. So these guys are all pretty much max level of 20, and I'm level 46. So since I've been playing this, this save for a while, I have a little bit of a, I guess, an experienced crew, an experienced set of fleet officers, which is very good in a situation like this, because uh, this is crazy, this is nuts, absolutely. Okay, let's see if we can take this guy out, because that would be super awesome. Uh oh, and that guy can't be from behind us. So good, we're doing okay. Checking the map here. Not too much disaster. Oh, the reduce is gone. Oh, wonderful. That is huge. Okay, so let's now engage this guy. So now he's in phase. And I'm basically gonna try to keep my shield in between me and the phase ship so it can't mess me up. <laughs> Notice that it's it's gaining a lot of flux while it's uh, in phase, so it's gonna try to probably wanna bend. There you go, it's venting. This particular ship that I'm uh, piloting right now is very... Um, I don't know how to say it. Unwieldy. It's probably the best way to say it. Okay, that guy is proving to be a challenge. I may need, I may need another ship to help me engage that one. It's a pretty good, good little view. Uh, so I'm going to kind of shy away from it and just engage it from a distance. Uh, attempt to take out this, this destroyer with my other cruiser. But it's so fast. I don't know. Let's see. Let's try. Let's try to encircle it. Mm. It's really doing its best <laughs> to not be caught. See if 
I can maneuver into the right positioning. Well, it's still venting. Can I get it? No. Escaped. I don't know if we have the speed to take it on, guys. Alright. We may have to engage another ship after all. Okay. We're going to stay kind of close to our, our other cruiser, though, because this, I don't think we can take on this guy one on one. We're a light cruiser in there. Pretty hefty cruiser. It was talking about a heavy cruiser, so. That's hurting it. Loving that. Yeah! Well, that's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Okay. Sweet. Okay, we got a frigate over there we're kind of sparring with. A couple frigates over here. Maybe we can take them out. Okay. Although they're so fast. That's one of the negatives. That's why you have to have a mixed fleet. Our destroyer and frigate are a little more capable of um, mixing it up. Flying pressure. fleet running away now. <laughs> easy, easy. Okay, so 
so we got to repair a little bit. All right, so we're going to repair a little bit, and uh, I think what I want to do is actually take a break from the main game and do a little bit of simulation. Yeah. So let's try our own little uh, light cruiser here. We're going to simulation. Let's find something that would be a good challenge. So it's a light cruiser. What can we take on? Hmm, we an assault cruiser? That might be fun. Seems like a fairly good challenge. You can see there's um, deployment points here. Um, this has 22. That's a rough estimate of the value and the damage and the power of the, uh, the ship. So let me check mine real quick. Okay, mine is a 14, so this should be, you know, fairly considerable challenge. Alright, so let's see what we can do. <laughs> this is definitely, uh, I don't have the most experience with this ship, but um, I like it. It's, it's definitely got a cool class of this to it. So a head on attack. Oh, wow. The flux on that thing is nothing. Oh. I thought this was going to be a challenge, but this ain't bad. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Let's, uh... You know, I think I can go ahead and bring in more here. Yeah. Okay. Let's do something a little more challenging then. A heavy assault cruiser. Support assault. Yep. That looks like a challenge. Oh, there it is. Okay. So, preventing. Hopefully it doesn't hit us in the meantime. Because we definitely don't want to face it unprepared. Okay, so it's assaulting. Here it comes. Alright, missed that shot. Just the green. Okay, so it has considerably more uh, flux capacity than it needs to be. Okay, so we're doing some damage though. Not bad, not bad at all. Okay, so we're venting. It's probably going to use its burst uh, engines to come catch up with us. So we're trying to. Yep, there you go. It's got burn going on. It's gonna start attacking. Oh! Shields up just in time! Ah ha ha. Aaron. Oh! Wow. That's awesome. <laughs> Alright. Okay, let's do something a little more interesting. Let's try some uh, smaller craft and maybe uh, just a couple of destroyers. Yeah. Let's do a couple of these. And. Bomber wing, interceptor wing. Okay. Oh wow, they're right here. Okay, this got real. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's a torpedo. Oh man, not good. So that destroyer has torpedoes on it, which is pretty wild. Those repeaters um, <laughs> are so good. I love it. Uh, okay. Our, our weaponry actually was able to take out the torpedo before it got to us, which is actually great. Alright, so I think we took out all the fighters, one of the destroyers, and this guy's about to become easy prey. Alright, we're safe. We got this. Alright. <laughs> so, there's multiple things. First off, um, it's the, the, the basic ship chassis. You know, that's that's starting place. But then it's how you um, set your points, how you allocate and spend your um, your available can't think of the word. Ordinance points. Good grief. <laughs> ordinance points. I've only read it like a thousand times. Okay, so <laughs> how you spend your ordinance points to kind of go together and make kind of a balanced ship is how you make it effective. Also, full disclosure, I think I don't have it on the hardest setting, so um, I'm actually contemplating starting over from scratch with like the hardest setting and um, like Iron Man mode, no saving. I mean, there's saving, but there's no like going back if you die. Like, it's just hardcore. And that would be a considerable challenge, so I might do that. So if you guys uh, want me to do that, go ahead and uh, leave me a comment and uh, we'll give it a shot. So, hey, uh, if you liked the episode, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.
Gracias.